It'll be a great test for us uh, heading to Charlotte. Uh, a lot of respect for Coach Fern and their program, and obviously the first place team in the league, and they're having a fantastic season. Uh, won seven games in a row and, and playing as good a basketball as anyone in this conference. It sounds like they'll have a pretty good home court advantage. Students camp out, so you kind of have to embrace that going on the road to Austin Territory. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, I think it's awesome. I think that's great in terms of what a great atmosphere it's going to be in state game. Uh, I've seen some of the same things, and you know, and, and yeah, it's going to be a great atmosphere in there. And you know, you give them credit for that, and, and, and you know, and, and they've earned it because they're having such a great season. And I think. You know, we, Charlotte is a rich basketball tradition program. They won the CBI last year, 20-plus uh, win team with returned a lot of players, and they did well in the recruiting class. And again, I'll say it, Coach Fern is just doing a fantastic job uh, with their program, and they're in first place for a reason. We're used to seeing Brandon play really good basketball. He struggled the last couple of games. How has he looked at practice, and you expect him to big bounce back? Well, oh, yeah, I, I do expect him to bounce because he always has bounced back. And the reality is this, that there's two folds there. One, and we this kind of happened a little bit last year at a certain time, that there's a big target on his back. And anytime there's a target on a player's back, and then maybe you're not getting production from other guys as much, that target even gets bigger and bigger and bigger on that specific player. And I think he's experiencing that right now. Not only our defense is keying on him, but also we're not shooting the ball as well. Other guys ain't, aren't able to space the floor to allow him to work a little bit. And so it becomes this double-edged sword. They both get him, and now you have a couple back-to-back -back games where the production isn't there. But it's... Brandon is going to be fine. We, we, we know that for ultimate confidence in him. But we got to get everybody to step up so that they can take some pressure off him, and that'll help. Both things will help. Coach, we all know gameplay mentality is the overall motto for the season. So how is the team looking to use that for this next conference game? Yeah, it's just I think you know you, we look at that because we want every possession to have that meaning. And when I look at the Wichita State game and the Temple game, it really exemplified that for this reason. It's very hard in basketball to continue to play with that mentality when the ball's not going through the basket. It's a, it's a challenge. You know, making baskets, the ball going through the hoop, the crowd, the dunks, that's what's sexy about basketball. That gets everybody going, that's the energy, that's fantastic. To have the mentality to continue to fight grind, set screens, rebound, block out, take care of the basketball, get on the floor for loose balls, those things that maybe aren't in the stat sheet or aren't as exciting to the common fan or to even players sometimes, I mean, to be quite honest, that's what we have to be. And we did it for two games. We did it on the road versus Wichita. We did it versus Temple. We didn't shoot the ball well versus South Florida. I'm not sure it's that we didn't have that mentality. I give South Florida a lot of credit I mean, they shot the heck out of the ball. They made 10 threes that game. They made 18 the game before. That's a great shooting team. They were the leading three-point shooting team in the conference going into the game, and they came in our building, and they did it. So, But we got to have that mentality every time we step on the court because we can't just bank on the ball going through the basket all the time. With Charlotte's pace and their kind of unique defense, is it tough to simulate kind of prep going into a game like this? Stuff is when you only have one day to prep for it, I would say, you know, and they've had a week off, but that's the way the schedule goes. Um, but we did, you know, between film and practice and walkthroughs, we've been in these situations before. I've been in the NCAA tournament many times. You play on a Thursday, you get one day prep, you play on, a, uh, uh, on the next Saturday. Or, or you play on Friday, you got one day prep, and you play that Sunday. So one day preps are what it is. That's conference play, just the way the schedule goes. They are a unique style with, the, with their style of offense and, you know, the pace of play that, that, that they do play. Uh, but we just got to be ready, and it's going to be a great test for us. I have a lot of trust in RJ, obviously, his second 41 shots. Is, it, is there a balance there between you know, maybe trying to get him a little more efficient, or what have you seen just the last few times for RJ? I think the same thing as we talked about with Brandon, to be quite honest. Um, in order for there to be balance, there has to be production across the board. And when there's not production across the board, it usually does fall on every team in the country. It's going to fall on their top two, three players. And so if we are struggling with production, which we have been the last few games, what happens is field goal attempts go up on certain guys. And that target is equally as big on R.J. Felton as it is Brandon Johnson and Ezra Asar. So it was great to see Cam Hayes the other night pour 14 points in. And, you know, maybe we get Quentin DeBunge back here sooner than later. And Ben Sal, the freshman, is going to come along. And Bob Pettiford, I thought the last two games offensively, has given us something. But it's got to come together, and uh, when it does, I think you'll see RJ's efficiency go up. I was going to ask about Quentin. Any 
Is he getting close at all to doing some movement? He practiced today. Okay. First practice back, he practiced, so that's great. And we'll just see how it feels here. We got a pretty long bus ride in front of us, and we'll see how it feels tonight for the for the tip off tomorrow. Anything else? Thanks, Thank you, guys.